so continuing from our flight mechanics uh, previous video I just wanted to make the video shorter so that it's much more viewable so I just broke in between and yeah so we'll continue turns not turns oops okay turns so turns also there is two kinds of forces that are ac ac uh, acting on it accelerating force and turning force so accelerating force is any change in direction and turning force is your basic your centripetal force okay so now just view this as a straight and level aircraft so your lift is acting like this and your weight is acting like this now what happens when the aircraft starts to turn okay so now what happens here is the weight is acting downwards now there is this horizontal component and vertical component and this is your resultant towards the turn okay so this is your vertical component of lift and this is your horizontal component of lift or your centripetal force force that is causing the turn in the turn acting outwards horizontally now what happens here is just note this keenly during a turn vertical component of lift as I mentioned VL decreases since this is here when you turn that's what happens when you fly an aircraft your lift is lost so you actually have to push pull back your control column right so the lift vertical component of the lift is reduced to this value it's reduced and horizontal component of lift increases this resultant resultant acts always this is the 90 degree acts 90 degrees of the flight path acts 90 degrees of the flight path always and is it lies between the vertical component of lift and horizontal component of lift all right so that's what happens in a turn so now we are actually uh, in a way done with everything i'm going to give you a nice really nice formula to you know correlate so that uh, you can solve any almost any problem in an exam interesting okay so what are all this this is <coughs> stalling speed LF is your load factor theta is your angle of bank don't confuse it with angle of attack its angle of bank V is your speed task basically small r is your radius of turn and rot is rate of turn and there is, then again there's another angle of attack angle of attack which here I'll write 1 by angle of attack so now this formula if you remember this formula if you remember you can solve almost any question that is asked in any exam all right this is the critical one so s s stalling speed proportional to load factor proportional to angle of bank proportional to speed by that is radius of turn inversely proportional to rate of turn now you must be wondering how do i actually use this all right so how do we use it example if angle of bank is constant and your speed is increasing all right if your angle of bank is constant and speed is increasing so what is happening is the question 
okay so all we have to do is just write the same formula formula again okay so the question was angle of bank is constant so if this is constant all these parameters to the left are as well as constant now what is happening that it was saying that v velocity is increasing the speed is increasing all right so to keep this constant the radius of turn also has to be increased if this is increasing this has to increase now with that inversely proportional this has to decrease does it make sense and v increases your angle of attack decreases so it's as simple as that to solve any question using this formula at 90 degree angle of bank the horizontal component is maximum and the vertical component of lift is zero all right and another few terms you can just note it down shallow turn uh, turns below 20 degrees medium turns are 20 degree to 45 degrees steep turns turns are greater than 45 degrees all right so i hope you've understood how to use this formula all right so we'll just uh, try a couple of more so that you know it actually just clarifies how you use it now suppose factors uh, let's say factors affecting turn this will also clarify your uh, how to use the formula and also the factors will also be discussed so angle of bank now if the speed is constant all right and angle of bank is increasing okay speed is constant and angle of bank is increasing the same time the same thing same formula ss stalling speed load factor angle of bank velocity radius of turn rate of turn velocity inversely proportional angle of attack all right so now at constant speed and, and constant speed if constant speed is this an angle of bank is increased so to the left load factor is increased your stalling speed is increased now to do this this is increased so this is constant so the inversely proportional is radius of turn and rate of turn has to be increased all right so this is kept constant this is increasing your radius of turn has to decrease rate of turn has to increase now there is one special case in this case this was a radius of turn factors affecting just note it down this is a special case special case so in this what happens is your stalling speed load factor theta velocity radius of turn rate of turn this is more of a practical uh, kind of an application which is the only exception to this formula I'll just note uh, write down the values first then you can just comprehend so what is happening here is the radius of turn so if your angle of bank is increasing and your velocity is decreasing suppose you have just cut off power or something if your angle of bank is increasing and your velocity is decreasing then your radius of turn will decrease and the rate of turn has to be increased to maintain that angle of bank if you have to increase this is just a practical application whenever you fly if you increase the angle of bank and your speed is reduced so to maintain the rate of you know to turn turn in the same way you have to increase the rate of turn so that your angle of bank is increasing and your radius of turn has to be it will decrease basically all right now there are specific kind of turns that are there rate one turn is the one that is mostly used it is 180 degrees per minute all right that is basically 3 degrees per second rate two is 360 degrees per minute all right six degrees per second so these two are another good formula to remember when uh, you're flying is what angle of bank to maintain all right so that is tas by 10 plus 7 this is a good rule of thumb just remember it always whenever you fly what uh, what angle of bank your instructor might ask what angle of bank you want to do it's just simple tas by 10 plus 7 suppose you're flying at 100 knots 100 by 10 
plus 7 17 degree of 70 degree bank will give you rate 1 turn all right make sense just remember this is a good rule of thumb okay yeah so next is your stalling speed stalling speed so the new stalling speed will be the old stalling speed by new weight by old weight this is basically v1 into load factor load factor is weight v2 by w, uh, w2 by w1 so the new stalling speed will be the old stalling speed by the new weight by the old weight root of okay another point if you're maintaining constant radius and angle of bank is increased then speed also increases okay ha you might ask again how so just go back to the formula lf theta v by r 1 by so at constant radius if angle of bank is increased so what will happen to this p of 2 the speed has to increase because this is constant angle of bank if you increase the angle of bank the speed has to increase all right so summary let's have a quick recap what all we did in the flight me mechanics chapter so key points in climb a lift is less than weight thrust is greater than drag okay effect of weight effect of weight altitude and temperature so the drag of an aircraft at a given IS is not affected by altitude and temperature but higher the weight increases drag and reduces excess thrust so drag does not depend on altitude or temperature at a given IS okay but but higher weight increases drag and reduces excess thrust so simple logic the more the weight the more the thrust you require to maintain the same lift and the climb angle is reduced with increasing weight altitude and temperature so as you uh, have a lot of weight the climb angle that you're climbing the aircraft is climbing will obviously reduce because you have more weight and with altitude it's going to reduce and temperature with increasing temperature your this climb angle also will reduce because the aircraft performance is not going to be well okay in next point in steady descent a lift is less than weight b thrust is less than drag always remember only three uh, forces are acting in a glide that is drag weight and lift no thrust acts next effect of weight in glide L by D max is independent of weight so you have to fly a corresponding L by D ratio VMD increases as height increases VMD is your minimum drag speed VMD decreases as parasite drag increases all right and now the last three important points here just from the same turning formula that I gave you guys constant speed 
and your bank angle if you angle of bank is increased increasing the bank angle bank angle is increased your radius of turn is decreased and rate of turn is increased just look at look at the formula you'll be able to figure out okay now if you want to maintain constant rate of turn and speed is increased then your bank angle angle of bank has to be increased last one at constant angle of bank if you increase speed then radius of turn radius of turn and rate of turn and radius of turn sorry radius of turn both will decrease this is the exception that you just have a look at that and uh, that's all i think and uh, yeah we're done with flight mechanics so i'll be uh, uploading more videos more frequently just being busy so i'll see you guys with the next video on high speed flight perhaps all right then till then see you guys if you like it share it comment ask for doubts share it with everyone bye bye